Hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz training video for you today. Also applies to any of the playing programs that are produced by Chess Base. Fritz, Junior, Ribka, Shredder, and High Arcs among them. We've been looking at training features in Fritz. How to train your board visualization. Two weeks ago we looked at attack training. Last week it was defense training. There's another similar training mode we're going to look at today. It's called check training. It's exactly what, you, what it sounds like, what you think it would be. You're going to need to click on every piece on the board that can deliver check. The setup is very similar to what we've already seen, but we'll go over it again. We go to the training tab, and instead of going to attack or defense training, we go to check training. The mouse over says click all white and black pieces that can deliver check. So that's what we're going to do. We'll click on that button. And here again, click all white and black pieces that can deliver check. Just reiterating the instructions. Pick your database. If you have not already selected a database, you can use this button. Or if you want to change a database, use this button to go anywhere on your computer, any drive, any folder, pick a database. I've selected Mega Database 2011. You pick the first game number. I'm going to back up one game just for chuckles here. Um, I started, two weeks ago, I started the, the doing training videos with the, the half millionth game in the database. The Mega Database has millions of games in it. So I picked game 500,000. Pick the number of minutes you want your training session to last. How long do you want to do this training? This is not a race. This is not a graded test. You don't get a score at the end of it. You're just training to be training. You're training to improve your skills. So this isn't a score thing like the time training questions that you come across on some chess-based videos, for example, or that Fritz will generate for you when you have it analyze a game. There's no score thing. This isn't a test. You're just training. You're, you're trying to hone and improve your skills. So just pick how long you want the training session to last. I've picked three minutes. Once again, click all white and black pieces that can deliver check. When you're ready, click OK. And now we look here. Now notice that it does not have to be a fruitful check. It does not have to be a check that really makes any sense. For example, this rook can capture this pawn and deliver check. However, that may not necessarily be what you want to do because the king would take the rook. But why would you do that kind of training? The reason why is because you want to be able to improve your visualization. In games, you may have these checks that initially look like they don't go anywhere, that you lose material, but it may actually lead to a sacrifice. It may actually lead to uh, drawing the king out into the open for a king hunt. Notice that when you've picked all of the ones that can deliver check, the software kicks you into another position and you get to do another one of these puzzles. And you keep continuing to do these until you've done them for three minutes. Um, these tend to be a little bit easier by and large than the other couple of training. Notice I've already gone through three positions. Um, gets a little bit tougher when you get here, which is a cluttered board. The queen can take this rook, so that would be one. Um, trying to see if the knight can come down here and check the king, and boom, that's all there was, and we're into another position. Queen can come here and check. Knight can come here and check. Uh, let me see here. Pawn takes pawn check. The knight can check by coming here. Hmm, that gets interesting. That's when you start to kind of go, wait a minute, I'm missing something here. So it, it's tougher on a cluttered board. It's easier with end game positions with few pieces on the board. But once you start getting a bunch of pieces, oh, this knight can come here. And it gets a little bit tougher. Let me see, we are doing this from White's viewpoint. So that rook can check, this rook can check, queen can check, queen can check. And now we go into another position. If you get stuck, I'm going to stop here to show you what happens. If you get stuck and you can't find all the ones that can check, uh, let's say I go through and I pick just a couple of them out. Well, that's all there was. Um, but if you can't find them and you want the solution, click this button up in the corner. Stop process is the button with the stop sign on it. And when you do, all the pieces that can deliver check will be highlighted in yellow. Sometimes you click on a piece that's wrong that can't deliver check, 
and the process will keep running until your three minutes are up or until you give up. If you click that button or if the process ends because your set time is up, any wrong piece will be highlighted in red, any piece you clicked on incorrectly. So why do we do this check training? Once again, it's because that's how you find game-winning sacrifices. Um, sometimes you just throw a queen out there and it's it, you give up a queen for a pawn, but it draws the king out to where the king can be mated. So you can start king hunts that way. You may have a mating combination. It begins with a major sacrifice. And the way you find them is looking for these checks and this training hones your skills in finding all the checks on the board. It also works in reverse, by the way. There are times where you may be checked and it may not be good for you, even though it looks like you know your opponent's going to give up a rook for a pawn and no big deal. Suddenly you find yourself getting whacked because your king winds up stranded in the middle of the board or something. So this also helps you look for places where your opponent could check you as well and perhaps cause some mayhem to your position. So all three of these training modes, attack training, defense training, and check training that we've looked at are designed to hone your visualization skills. As I said back two videos ago, a good friend of mine once said, every piece casts a shadow. And it's the interaction of those shadows is what makes chess chess. The places where pieces can go, where they can move, where they can capture, the squares they control, and all of these visualization training features in Fritz will help you to see the interplay of those controlled squares, the interplay of those shadows that the pieces cast. Till next time for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.